have so many Japanese seller Louis Vuitton, Almas, Speedies, Neverfulls. At one point, my whole house smelled like um, Satan's armpit. <laughs> Hey you ones, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. <gasps> it's just this ho. Autumn and I, yeah, that's right, a mother effing collab with Autumn Beckman, the Autumn Beckman, that is. And listen, um, we decided to do a video about, finally, about the beat up Birkin. What is the story? Or beat up bags. She sent me uh, an article from Wall Street Journal, I think it is. Actually, a few people have sent me articles since I have been obsessed, and I mean obsessed, with uh, owning a, um, not just a Hermes Birkin or Kelly, but a really trashed and beat up one. And every now and then, you know, Jesse talked about it, Jesse Style. It's, it, it runs around, you know, people talk about it. It's from the picture. I think the most, um, I guess the most buzz about this whole thing, it's a picture that was taken back in 2010 of one of the Olsen uh, girls. I know, I thought it was recent, but I got to looking and researching, and it's a very old picture, actually. It's, you know, 13 years old. But they do carry their bags until they are absolutely beat up and have to be trashed. They already look like they pulled them out of a dumpster. But anyhow, the story that she sent me, the title of this story is, uh, Should You Beat Up Your Birkin? Why Worn-In Luxury Bags Are Selling Fast. And see, I wanted this to keep, like, on the DL, but it's not. It's out there. When they keep showing that picture... People are like me getting obsessed with buying uh, and owning a, 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 not a fake, but a beat, trashed Birkin or Kelly. Now, I have tried since, when did this obsession start for me? Maybe, it was before Christmas anyway, it's last year. Uh, and I got to looking for, you know, I've bought several bags since then. I guess if I'd you know, maybe saved up the money instead of buying a few bags that I bought. I probably could have one, but I just refused to pay two thousand or more dollars over the over two grand. I may eat my words and buy one, but for a vintage beat up, I, I I would rather have a Kelly because that's what's pictured. And looking at the two, I I like the Kelly. I've always been team kelly because it looks to me like it's easier to get into and there's a strap involved so you know when a strap on comes around girl she's on that oh my god that sounded so dirty <laughs> yay i just found the first of this video <laughs> oh wait no we'll use something else anyhow i'm not cutting that out i'm definitely not cutting that out but anyway it says that stylish women are poo-pooing the pristine purses that's right so it makes sense to me because if you look around, we try to keep our bags pristine. When there's a scratch, we send them back like I just did this bag. You know, it's the thing of I'm worried about resale. So uh, I get tired of a bag, as you know, uh, and I want to buy a different bag. So for me, that that means saving money. And also, yeah, I need to sell something on something that I'm not carrying. Um Right now, my collection seems to be where I want it to be. But the thing is, would I trash a bag like this? No, I love it too much. Would I trash it? No. I would, would, no. But the whole story uh, in the journal, it was about, uh, I guess, this lady was telling a story about 20 years ago. She was at a restaurant. She looked over and saw another lady with her Birkin on the floor. <gasps> Horror and shock, right? Uh, and, you know... I guess she was very wealthy. I guess the lady was very wealthy. And the story goes on to say, kind of the gist of the whole story is a, is like, you know, rich women can replace their bag when it's worn out enough. And they can also not really worry about scratches and dings and resell because they're not going to sell their bag. They're going to keep it. And when they get into a bag that they love, especially, you know, jet-setting women, uh, like the little Olsen twin, you know, they fly all over the place, the Kardashians, those people, 
they can ding their bags up the ones that they travel the most with and i guarantee you that they do because it's nothing to them it's like you know throwing out five bucks to us that's what you know the equivalent to them is i mean they're millionaires right sometimes billionaires so yeah it makes sense when I read this story, like, okay, so game recognized game. So when a wealthy lady sees another wealthy lady carrying her beat up Birkin or beat up Kelly, she's just like, yeah, I can tell she's a rich lady. <laughs> like, I was like, wait, what? So gone are the days of the status symbol, I guess, being uh, pristine, brand new, out of the box, fresh. Kelly's and Birkins, it's all about the drag it around and beat it up like I have been doing with my Firkin. And then it begs the question, should we buy one beat up or should we just shop our own closet and beat one of our own bags up? And I already have some bags that are pretty worn. Uh, I've shown you a couple of my Louis Vuitton bags that I, you know, got when, you know, Bill and I were first well, not first together, but when my kids were a lot littler, my first Louis Vuitton foray into, you know, luxury bags. And, and I, I did. I did carry it, but it's not because I knew that I could get another one. It was just that I wanted to be with that luxury bag everywhere I went. I wanted it to go. And my feeling on it was I'm probably not ever going to get a chance to get a brand new one again right? Uh, she didn't know she was going to go crazy 20 years later and buy a bunch. Uh, but yeah, my feeling was I'm going to carry the sh out of this bag and I don't care. I love it and I'm going to carry it and I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, I wish I had that mentality back again. But for me to do the beat up trashed Hermes or any bag, really, I'm going to have to buy it in that state. So I guess that answers the question for me. Like, I will have to buy it already beat up, but I refuse to pay more than $2,000. It's just crazy, guys. It's crazy. But people are cashing out on the fact that the trend of beat up, trashed looking bags are in. So instead of selling, you know, what they would have sold two, three years ago for $1,500, $2,000, whatever. And I've seen some that like straps are off, cut, missing hardware like holes, really deep scuffs, sc scratches like bad looking. You just know that bag stinks when you look at it. Uh, in the pictures for three, four, not even three. I won't even say three at this point. When I started looking, maybe you could get one for two to three. But now you can't even offer somebody less than four. For a bag that I mean to tell you looks like it had been dragged through um, a lot of, <laughs> maybe dragged down the road behind a car. Just very bad. So, um, but yeah, we used to, it's so funny to me. I love this story and I love the idea of doing this video. And I did, um, I did ask, this is so funny. I did ask um, Jesse and I have asked Jacob to partner up with me and find one and Jacob's uh he said he would love to but buying a pre-loved trashed Birkin there are so many super fakes out there you're not going to be 100% sure ever that you're going to get an authentic one so I'm not going to pay 10 grand for one and then trash it that just I'm not wealthy enough to do that sort of thing but it's just like a catch-22 for me it's like I want a trashed, you know, Kelly bag. I don't want to pay over two grand. That's out. And I, I can't afford to buy a new one. And if I could afford to, let's say I sold 10 bags and I bought a new one, or I, I don't play the Hermes game. So let's say I bought a very pristine one from like Fashion File or a reputable seller. Um... I would never trash it. I just couldn't do it, guys. I could not do it. So owning one sort of seems out of the question for me. I think I'm going to give up on my pipe dream of owning a trashed or beat up uh, Birkin or Kelly. I just, I can't do it. I don't know. I can't afford it. I can't afford to buy it new and trash it. And I can't afford to buy one that's trashed already because I'm like Jacob. I don't know if it's going to be 
authentic and I definitely don't want to pay that much money like what a new bag or a new you know Louis Vuitton bag would cost me at the actual boutique for a track like it's just a, it, my mind goes round and round in circles with this so I just need to like put it to bed is it something that you have or something that you would do and will you ever trash a bag that's ten thousand plus dollars i can tell you now i won't <laughs> i probably will never have a bag that much but if you do and there are lots of you out there who do do you set yours on the ground do you drag it through the airport do you you know slap it around in the bathroom and all that jazz i mean is that something that you would lay down on a bathroom counter sink? Like, that's a big no for me. Bathroom counter sinks? No, ma'am. I can't go there either because if that was wet and it got my bag, no, 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 germs, no, no, ma'am. And I asked Jessie as well, and Jessie said she would love to do it. She would love to own one as, as well, but she's not willing to pay over 2000 you know, Australian dollars to do it so yeah but it is the new status symbol apparently uh, gals are looking around like oh look at you with your trashed Birkin game see game uh -huh, respect right <sighs> I guess I'll just keep my poor little 2005 Louis Vuitton that is already trashed and you know what I'll just continue to trash it I don't care girl <laughs> now would I buy I have bought I've bought many many um, hopeless and trashed bags more than I could probably 30 at least I bought 20 or 30 at least my I, I bought so many Japanese seller Louis Vuitton Almas Speedies Neverfulls at one point my whole house smelled like um, Satan's armpit <laughs> from it I mean that's the truth like I have bought a lot of um, damaged and older bags but I got them for great deals and they were already trash and I'm trying to shine them up and resell so that was my whole thing is like oh like I'm doing to my Dior bag like oh I can fix her up you know and down the road maybe that'll be worth something I can flip it that's my thinking but now it's like psh, Let's just all have a free-for-all and trash our bags. I mean, that's the new, mm, that's the new it, honey. The new it. I remember also, I'll say this one more thing and then I'll let you go because this is just a rambly video. But I'll say this, um, I can remember Jesse Style and also I believe Devin talking about, um, who did a video, They, I think they both did videos, about this mega influencer and I'm not familiar with her uh, but she was moving from I guess the mansion she lived into a bigger mansion or whatever and she had beautiful I mean multi multi hundred thousand dollars worth of bags okay she had hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of bags I guess that's how you say it and she was she just had this huge like what you'd find at a bin store box you know like on a pallet and she was just like taking her bags and throwing, not wrapping them up, not putting, and she was just going, hey, this is a Chanel bag. I paid $8,000 for it. And then she would just throw it in. The, and I thought, okay, this makes perfect sense to me now. She was a little quick to the, but you could see she had carried and loved each one of those bags. And to her, it was just, you know, I guess I'll just give this away, throw it out, sell it, whatever, and buy a new one when I want a new one. So that's the mentality now. That's the, I guess, the nouveau riche or the rich, wealthy mentality. I don't know. Tell me your thoughts about it. I would love to hear it. I cannot wait to see what Autumn has to say because she's very smart, thoughtful, and she preps well. <laughs> and you guys know I just turn this damn thing on and start blabbering away. Yeah. No rhyme, no reason, just, ah! Uh, and then I turn it off, and I go in the other room to edit, and I think, oh, shoot, I wanted to say this. And, you know, it's gone. She's gone. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please go over and see Autumn if you didn't already come from there. If you came from Autumn's channel, thank you so much. I so appreciate everybody who has been subscribing and watching and enjoying my videos. It warms the cockles. Yes, she said it, of my heart, girl. 
I'm so happy and tickled. And if you'll do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead. I'll wait. You ready? <gasps> Did you do it? Thank you. Thank you so much. Hit the like button and comment your thoughts down below. I want to know everything. And one more thing, though. Girl, if y'all see my husband, don't tell him nothing. Bye. Uh, bag of the day, girl. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. My bag of the day is this field tote. What's happening here? Field tote 22 that I bought last year and have never carried. It got a little rainy here this weekend. Some people lost power. It was a big, huge storm that came by. And uh, I actually bought this from someone who watches me from a subscriber on eBay. Uh, I bought this actually um, to match this. It came with something else that the the lady was selling but anyhow uh i love it i think it's just the perfect combination of pink and green Ooh, yes girl it's starting to get spring and my scent of the day thank you to dawn i thought i brought it in here oh i did it is this trish mcavoy have you ever tried this this is a niche fragrance Ooh, very good this one's called bond nine or no i'm sorry gold nine i'm thinking of bond number nine but it's called gold nine and it has like a, a little bergamot. Uh, I think there's some lavender, musky tones. Oh, it smells so good. It, it just gets better and better as you wear it too. I love it. Thank you, Dawn. I'll be carrying my trashed bag and wearing my bougie fragrance. Yes, girl. Biatch.